soon after the beginning of the work of the fund in 1865, the uh, founders began to issue small leaflets with news of the progress of the fund's work. And they very quickly realized that this was an expensive and inefficient way of doing things. And so they decided to found a regular journal in which they could publish their, their own results and those of other researchers. And this came about in 1869, and the journal was called the Palestine Exploration Quarterly, uh, or the Quarterly Statement, rather, of the Palestine Exploration Fund. The Quarterly Statement continued four issues a year um, until 1942, when the committee um, made the following statement on page one. The question referred to in our last issue as being under consideration by the executive committee has been decided in the affirmative, and for the duration of the war, the quarterly will appear twice a year. And so it did. And in 2007, the committee decided that the war was officially over and returned to three issues a year. And as of this year, we now have a full four issues and it is a quarterly once again. In the meantime, the other thing that happened was that the statement, the, the title, um, the quarterly statement of the Palestine Exploration Fund was decided to be a little bit too cumbersome in 19th century and in 1937 it was shortened to Palestine Exploration Quarterly and it's been further shortened now to PEQ.